Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So I had to cut the last episode a little bit short, so give me a little bit of time to work out what I was doing. I, I at least left myself with enough pop-ups. So they've got one rebellion, two rebellion, three rebellion, four rebellion, and the war we're in. Okay. Looks so like this should be a pretty simple war. We have too many vassals. We could probably try and sort that. Need to usurp some titles when we can. Call an ally to this war. They're going to say no. Script merchant ships. Trying to kill the uh, leader of Carpathia so that we can reset the truce. Another adventure threat to make us some money in September. We can imprison kings. Probably don't want to do that. And we've raised vassal levies too long. Oh yeah, and we lost our retinue. That's what I forgot. We lost um, one of our two retinues. Did that put us below the uh, actual limit? Oh, we could create many, many more retinues if we wanted to. We just can't afford it. Okay, where are you going? York. We'll follow. Why do we have no leaders in this army? That seems... Very foolish. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's Craven. Don't want him in charge. Perfect. Uh, should increase the speed a little bit. Right. Losing sieges. Oh, another uprising. Perfect. I just love uprisings. So we should probably just assault down these holdings. Take them over very quickly. Move back to this one. Oh, we've actually got 100% war score. We will offer peace. Force demands. So, give away the lower bits of land. And then we need to decide how to deal with the other bits. We can actually keep that land, this land for just now. So we will. We'll just keep that for ourselves. What's the supply limits? Oh, they're really high. We'll just stay next to this one then. Could attack Kasyoka. A holy war for Azov or Alania. Um, I think we'll do that. Or we could take Azov itself. Yeah, okay. Holy war for Azov. We'll continue attacking while we're here. I think this is as much land as we could personally take anyway. We can assert this titles. Want to figure out how to get below our vassal limit. Let's have a quick check here. So we're losing 5% tax, which isn't very good. So we want lowest rank, but not that low. Corinthian revolt. Please stop revolting. We need uh, you to be under people. Wessex, Mercia, East Anglia. So we really need the Kingdom of England. Which we can't quite take. Where is Serenia? Down here. Alexandria. We could put things under Jerusalem. So, wait, have we got... Duke of Arabia, we could put under Jerusalem. I think. No. Okay. I guess it's only count- oh yeah, I found out it was only count level titles, or unless it was de jure. So we can't hide them under other people. So we've got the choice of getting rid of their titles. So let's have a- let's use this in a slightly different way. So we want rulers who are in our realm. We want people who are not my religion group. No one. Not my religion? 
Okay. Um, Duke of Upper Lorraine. Uh, oh, I need to do search vassals. Okay. Not my religion. He's not my vassal. I want direct vassals. Oh, it's not going to show us that. Mm. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to leave that then. Because if it won't show us direct vassals, then we have a problem. We could try conquering to get more, like, vassal... Like, we could try conquering to put our va like, to combine vassals. So we have a lot in England, but what else do we have? Duke of Alexandria, which would de jure be part of... The Halibut Sultanate. So if we took this, the, if we took those two provinces, say, we can't attack them because we don't have a valid cast of spell like because they're my Fizzite. Okay. But we could find, oh, we could fabricate a, um, a claim over here. Okay, we'll, we'll wait until after this war and after the adventurer attacks. Because after the adventurer attacks, we'll have money again. So, fine. Should maybe deal with all these uh, rebels. Hmm. Right. We'll just attack across the uh, major river crossing. I don't really mind about doing that. Giovanni. Do we have any prisoners? We should probably get rid of them. 25 gold, 140. Who, who are you? Captain of the Swiss band. Oh. Huh. Oh, that must have been when we attacked uh, Venice. They must have hired him. Elisa Carling from prison. Yeah, okay, we'll release you. It's fine. We might as well have people who like us in our realm. I'm starting to think that Princess Valentina might fancy me. Let's make a move. Ah, it's good to be the Emperor. So, assault. Assault. There's the host war. Calling our ally. Where... Up here? Yeah. Strange, the adventurers are all the clear for the same spot. Maybe it's just very nice up there this time of year. More uh, children. Ah, there's the really large army. It should start taking attrition any moment now. Assault down, assault down. One more assault and I think we get 100% war score. 99%? Oh, come on. You must want to surrender. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Cool. Give away the lower provinces. Why are you independent? Okay, he controls... They control a lot of small things around the place. Okay, well, I don't want to deal with that. We could create the, t uh, the Kingdom of Alania and the Duchy of Azov, but we're not going to create either right now. We don't really want to create more vassals, so... We'll just do that. We do have a lot of uh, revolt problems. We could possibly increase our diplomacy just a little bit higher. And that would allow us 
to have more vassals. So if we change to maybe a family focused one or carousing. Just three diplomacy. I think we're going to change to carousing. We're not going to have a lot of problems with money because our retinues are gone. We're making a lot of money each month. I think it's a good idea just to try and uh, increase it. A vassal limit that way. Good, we are now exactly our vassal limit. We're making more gold. Famous Herald, well versed in diplomatic protocols, arrived at our court. He's promising his service to him, and our Chamberlain is saying we can make good use of this man. Uh, I disagree. We probably won't make good use of him. So we're now making 5% extra from every single vassal from tax, so we'll be making a lot of money. Yeah. It's an extra 3 per month. That adds up very quickly. Uh, Eliza? Okay, fine. Lugistan claims that King Constance of Frisia is trying to promote vile heresies. Keep the information to myself. They've already lost most of their troops to attrition, I think. Oh no, they just split up their army. We're actually losing a lot of our troops to attrition. Okay, vile heresies, I get it. Let's see if we can get some troops from over here to bolster our ranks. So, Fog of Bulgaria. Anyone else? Yeek. Get some troops from Yeek. Oh, a bastard. Sickly. Um, we'll acknowledge her. It's fine. Oh, we have a new person in charge of this flank, do we? Doesn't seem uh, entirely right. Child lacks a guardian. We will get you educate guardian, please. Okay, I'll open the interface myself. Carling, Italian, perfect. Okay, we'll wait for this army to kind of form up like this. We'll go to this province. Okay, place report. Most people are Catholic. Good. Right, we're looking for river crossing. Bilar. So there will be a river crossing that we'll have to take. I think we'll be okay with that. Organizer. Interesting. If we put you in charge of, as the organizer, you on one flank and put you on the other flank. No. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of charge in with the organizer trait. And just try and grab an army. 12th of August is when that army leaves. The other one leaves on the 28th of September. We're going to catch them. I think. 6th of August. Uh, th 6th of October. Oh, they're going to catch us. That might even be better. Than then they're taking the river crossing. Yeah, good. They took the river crossing penalty. We've got a flanking bonus on each side. So the middle flank just gets destroyed. We now attack into this one. And do the same thing here. Uh, peasants revolts on Ross, that's fine. Kill his middle flank. That cheaper bond, fine. As long as he doesn't... Become independent, that's fine. 
now we can attack straight through here and we should easily destroy all of his armies. And... There we go. Destroyed it. Where are they going? Bulgar. Fine, we should reach there first, actually, because of our organizer. Call in an ally. It's fine. Oh, 100%, actually, we don't need to fight this fight. Force their demands. We'll split off all the non retinue troops. Now banish him for 500 gold. Uh, see Catholic? No, we'll execute. I think it might be time to deal with our rebel problems. So there's a Peasants' Revolt in Warwick. 2,000 troops. Well, I guess I'll do everything myself here. Let's merge them together and attack. We would like this army to possibly come down here and take some more land down here so we can get uh, some more kingdoms. So we'll come down like this. And that's straight through the Byzantine Empire. That'll work for me. Uh, which army am I missing? Oh no, not missing one. I just hadn't merged these two yet. So merge that army. Let's put some leaders in charge. Let's go with that guy who has a lot of leadership and uh, extra traits. That one. And that one. Move along one province. Where are the river crossings? Everywhere. Watcher, Winchester, Gloucester. It's done from Warwick, so what we could do is we could go in here and then around like that. That'll give us some time to regain morale as well. So yeah, something like that. Claim on the Sheikdom of Sinai. Sheikdom of Sinai. What's a Sheikdom? As a single province. It's a lot of money. But, so no. We want duchy or nothing. Okay, won that battle, we can chase in. Continue chasing the army. Who is Gerth? Nobody in particular. Okay. One more province over. I'll just keep the information to myself. Let's get rid of that. We've now finished two rebellions at once. We have a lot of rebel leaders. So we'll take 300 gold. 300 gold. Uh, we'll just execute Grath. Fine. Where are our next rebels? Germanic Uprising. So that's up here. Is that a Germanic uprising? They're already being attacked and beaten. Who are you? Cathar uprising. So we can get... There you go. Get Germany's troops. We'll get Mecklenburg's troops. And we'll get Holstein's troops. Those two meet in Lübeck. And you can also join them. Fine. Um, 
I'll put it on my better, better leaders. I'm willing to fight him. Oh. The Germanic Uprising moved a province. Interesting. Oh, I think they probably got um, shattered back into a pro into that province. Means that you need to start moving. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we can move into this one, maybe. I think we're going to lose it. I think I'm just throwing men at a meat grinder now. Well, we, we won another war. Fine. Execute. Oh, the uprisings work together. Huh. Oh well. Fine. We'll let them fight. I'm sure they can deal with it. Is this army down here yet? Where is it? Still working its way through the Byzantines? Yep. We still making money with this army? Yeah, we're still making 10 ducats a month with the army taking down. Uh, okay. Church career. You showed yourself to me. You're now going to have a church career. We're wounded. That's not good. We're only 42. Our uh, air is not nearly as good as we are. Sandro can be replaced. We'll go for that. Attack these rebels. Where are we going? San Alberich. There, one child lacks a guardian. We will educate this child with. Gabriel. Still create the two two same titles. Don't want to yet though. Almost won this war. I'm not ending the video till we uh, end the war, so. There we go. Offer peace, force demands. We can now get another 300 gold, execute that person. Right, I'm going to end the video here. Next time we're going to try conquering a bit of this land, maybe try and create another kingdom. And uh, hopefully deal with the rest of our rebels. See you then, goodbye.